Hello, my name is Julian Edgar, and I'm the author of this book, Modifying Your Car's Seats. Now, if you want your car seats to be like those really expensive aftermarket seats with fantastic support, have a listen to this video. So you can have seats like this. You don't have to pay a huge amount. You don't have to adapt the seat rails. You don't have to worry about the legality. All you need to do is to modify the seats that you already have. Now, very few people seem to do this, but it's actually quite straightforward, quite easy. Let's take a look at some of what's covered in this book. So the first way of modifying the shape of the car seat is simply to add foam in different locations. So over here we have the standard seat with the trim taken off. Most seats the trim unzips or unclips quite easily. And then foam has been added down the rear of the seat on the sides and at the base of the seat to give more side support. And you might say, well that looks a bit rough. When the cloth is stretched back over it, it smooths out the foam. So you don't even have to shape it that accurately. Over here on the left, we have the modified seat. On the right, we have the unmodified seat. And if you have a look, you can see a lot more depth on the side and lower bolsters, the squab bolster as well. Now that's easy, it's cheap, it's quick but it's not the optimal because what you'll find is that that foam tends to collapse when you lean against it when you're cornering. So you need to give the foam more support if you want to get an even better result. And having said that, that's an excellent first step. The second step is to actually change the shape of the seat frame. And here is the standard seat now with the foam and trim taken off. And you can see up the top, there's very little side support. But if we bend some tube, we can weld that onto the side frames, as I have done here. We can then cover that with extra foam and often we'll slit the original foam. And now when we go around a corner, the side support is phenomenal. You can make the width to exactly match your body. If you are a bigger person, you can put the seat to edge further apart if you are a smaller person you can have them closer together and when you sit in a seat like this it's just like sitting in one of those really expensive race style seats because you're supported so well from side to side now you might be saying what about the trim do I have to get the whole seat retrimmed what I've found if you're using cloth trim it has enough stretch to go back over even seat modifications like this. Now, um, you certainly don't want to wash it before you put it back on because it will shrink and then it'll be really hard to put back on. But you put it back on, you then wash the seat and it all shrinks and hold things into place really, really well. So with side support, you can get quite phenomenal results simply by modifying your standard seats and do it very cheaply as well. What else can you do? Well, here's something I did on one of my seats. I took the adjustable lumbar support from one seat, this seat over here, there you can see it's, it's built into this particular seat, that's the back of the seat, and then I incorporated it in the seat from my car. There's the lever, so now I've got adjustable lumbar support on a seat that never actually had it. And as someone who gets lower back pain if I don't have enough lumbar support, the adjustable lumbar support and the extra side support, the seat's just absolutely transformed. You couldn't even tell it was the same seat if you sat in the original and then sat in this one. And there's another one you can do as well. What about adjustable armrest? Well, again, I unwelded it from the original seat, just a seat I got from the uh, car dismantlers. I welded this stab, stub, stab this, uh, this uh, little extra stub onto this seat's frame, and then I could add an armrest. And I picked the trim color of the donor seat, so it was very close to the trim color of my seat, so I didn't even have to do any retrimming at all. And finally, what about changing the springing? If you want more support in one area of the seat, uh, somewhere on the back or the base, you can actually change the springing. And these spiral springs are available in different thicknesses. You simply specify a thicker spring, put it in place, and then you've got more support there. Or what about simply adding foam behind one of the springs? In this case, before I put the adjustable lumbar support on, I got more lumbar support simply by adding this foam. If you've never thought about modifying seats to make them more comfortable, make them more supportive, make them a better match for your body you're really missing out on something that's so cheap so easy and so incredibly effective it's all in the book modifying your car seats it's out now it's available on amazon at the link that's included in the notes for this video thank you